So welcome on, uh, again to the Cisco Communit Live event. My name is Gabriela Godoy. I am a community manager of the Cisco community and host of today's event. Today, we are going to talk about ISR 1100X 4G and 6G platform over overview and architecture. Before starting, I just want to let you know that the Cisco community is an online forum with over half a million members where you can get answers to your technical questions prior to opening cases with the talk. You can answer many questions or contribute and rate documents, videos, and blogs. The community can help you boost your career by becoming a top contributor and getting the technical community to know about your expertise. So let's start. George, I'm passing on the presenter's role. Thank you, Gabriela. Thank you. So, hi, everyone. Um, my name is George, and um, I'll take you through the first part of this presentation. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is a brief introduction to Cisco's SD WAN solutions and a brief look at uh, the SD WAN portfolio. Then we'll look at how these platforms evolved uh, from the VH platforms. Uh, we'll spend some time looking at use cases uh, and, and some time looking at uh, uh, these platforms and what features uh, they offer and how they compare with each other. Uh, we'll spend some time on performance and scale um, of these devices um, to give you some sense of uh, where to position um, these uh, devices. Um, the ISR 1100 and 1100X uh, devices are capable of uh, using either Viptela OS or the iOS XC SD WAN OS. And we are able to migrate from one OS to the other. Uh, and we'll look at uh, how that is done uh, and look briefly at licensing and, um, uh, and see a promotion that, uh, that, that you should know about. So why is Cisco SD-WAN cloud scale? Now, Cisco SD-WAN is cloud scale, not because um, it offers you automation, not because it offers you centralized provisioning, not because it offers you zero touch provisioning, and not even because it offers you centralized management. Although Cisco SD-WAN offers you all of these, you know, four um, advantages, we believe that the best way for customers to achieve massive fabric scale is through separation of control plane and data plane. And Cisco you know, offers this uniquely and, and gives you the power to be able to scale your SD-WAN fabric massively. Cisco SD-WAN supports any deployment. We have customers who uh, manage uh, on-premise, uh, they manage from the cloud. There are service providers who uh, use our multi-tenant ecosystem. Um, there's machine learning built into some of the analytics that we provide. So that's any deployment. We support uh, many different kinds of services, uh, multi-cloud op optimization, very rich analytics. If you haven't seen uh, analytics v2 yet um, you know please take some time to check that out cisco is in a very unique position to offer multi domain um, where we help you stitch um, your data center switching and uh, routing domains and you know make sure it is possible to seamlessly share for example, profiles across those three domains. Um, Cisco SD-WAN supports any transport. Um, a number of customers we've seen 
um, are taking away their MPLS links and replacing them with uh, internet links. It's not that MPLS is going away fully, but if somebody had two links, uh, we see cases where uh, customers are removing one MPLS link and replacing that with an internet link. Um, if you know, we, we support satellite uh, transport uh, connectivity, uh, also LTE-based transport, um, any location, uh, be it branch, uh, connection through co-location, uh, connection you know, uh, from a cloud, or you know, connection from a remote work location, uh, not very different from where you and I probably are working right now. So what we're saying is that Cisco's flexible architecture allows for us to um, you know, leverage all of the experience that we've had and provide you know, the kind of power that customers need today for their you know, SD-WAN solution. Now that was a view of the solution. What does a portfolio look like? Now, if you look at this slide, there's, there's branch aggregation and cloud. There are some, uh, you know, um, some areas where you have devices that span across, you know, horizontally. Uh, right at the bottom, we have our virtualization range of products, um, ENCS, CSP, and the new Catalyst 8200 uh, UCPE. Um, and then we have in the center uh, the SD-WAN products with Viptela OS, which came in with our acquisition of um, Viptela uh, to start with. And now we have new products introduced from the ISR 1K family uh, that can run Viptela OS there. Um, right on top, you see uh, what we call SD-WAN plus services. This is what gives you the full power of iOS XE um, and iOS XE SD-WAN. Full feature set, great security. And you'll notice here that uh, we have quite a few new products here. Uh, the Catalyst 8200, 8300, and the 8500 um, series of platforms are, are the newest to join the portfolio. Um, today, we will focus mostly on uh, the ISR 1100 4G, 6G, um, and the LTE uh, devices. Okay, so we have a polling question for you here. What are the ISR 1100X series platforms? Are they switching platforms, industrial routers, cloud platforms, or routing platforms? You can find this polling question on the right side of your screen if you are in a desktop. Okay, we have the answer. The majority said letter D. Is that right? Yes, the answer is D. Thank you, Gabriela. Thank you. Now let's move moving on to you know uh, look at the platform evolution. Uh, you may be familiar with the V Edge series of products, the V Edge 100B, the 100M, and the uh, V Edge 1000. Um, which are now no longer available as of the end of January. We had the ISR 1100 series of uh, you know, platforms uh, launched late 2019. And we came out with three products at that time. We had a four port uh, you know, a product, uh, which is an ethernet, uh, uh, four ports of ethernets. Ethernet uh, ports. Uh, then we had the 6G, which is um, four ports of Ethernet, uh, RJ45, and two SFP ports. And then we had the 1100 4G LTE available in two flavors, GB and NA, which stood for Global and North America, with four ports of RJ45 Ethernet and with integrated LTE. Uh, category 4 LTE. Now, a couple of months back in January, we released uh, two new SKUs uh, in this series. 
uh, they called the ISR 1100X 4G and the ISR 1100X 6G. Now the X stands for 8 GB memory, which would allow you to run uh, advanced security features that that comes with uh, iOS XE SD WAN. To give you a sense of uh, the rationale behind um, the evolution uh, from the edge, um, the the whole premise of the ISR 1100 launched late 2019 was uh, that it's a better uh, hardware, uh, Cisco manufactured, um, you know, enterprise grade, um, and running Biptela OS only at that time with 4 GB RAM. Um, as of January, you will be able to run iOS XCSD WAN also on these devices. Now, the ISR 1100X series devices, from a hardware uh, standpoint, is a lot like the ISR 1100 uh, series devices, but they come with 8 GB RAM, as we said before. They'll be able to run from day one with Tela OS or iOS XE SD WAN. And with iOS XE SD WAN, because you have 8 GB RAM, you can now access the full uh, security stack that iOS XE has to offer um, beside, uh, you know, gaining the advantage of better performance uh, that you would get. Now, this is, this is a very you know, crowded slide, but there is only a few things that I wanted to kind of point out here. Uh, the first three SKUs that you see here, the 4G, 4G LTE and the 6G, or the SKUs that came out late uh, 2019. And the two new SKUs are here on the right side. And you will see the 8 GB DRAM and the 16 GB um, PSLC uh, bulk flash, um, which are differentiators. Um, we also have uh, these devices supported from Viptela OS 20.4 onwards the new devices, where the devices are supported from Viptela OS 19.2 onwards, or XCSD WAN 17.4.1 onwards. You will notice um, a few things to point out here very briefly. Um, they all come with a single power supply. The LTE devices come with one micro SIM socket and all of them have four RJ45 ports. We will um, get into more detail as uh, Prakash talks about these platforms. 